Surf zones are challenging for working robots, especially at the transition between dry sand and the waves. Underwater waves can destabilize a robot if it cannot anchor to a substrate. As the robot leaves the water, buoyancy forces decrease while hydrodynamic forces from waves increase. In addition, hydrodynamic force pushes the top layer of sand back and forth, which decreases the forward force on the body when the robot legs push back in a stance phase. This can cause the robot to become embedded in the sand. Even a small wave can prevent the robot from moving forward in the transition zone. Crab-like designs enable robots to achieve this anchoring behavior, while still being lightweight enough to walk on dry sand. Their legs are articulated with proportions that optimize their ability to insert dactyls between rocks to enable force closure. Their curved dactyls are tapered to resist horizontal wave forces, and they can pull their legs inward to increase their effective weight. These feet are compatible with walking on sandy and rocky terrain where biological crabs thrive. Our group has been developing a series of crab-like robots to achieve the transition from walking on underwater surfaces to walking on dry sand. With light body weight, the robot walks on dry sand without the legs being embedded in the sand, which improves the carrying capacity for object retrieval. Compared with the default forward moving gait of hexbar robots, we find that inward pulling gaits and sideways walking increase efficiency in granular media. We also show that the same legs used for anchoring in the waves can also be used for climbing by using the sideways walking. By using soft dactyls, we have previously shown that they can prop the ground to classify substrates which can help modify their gait to better suit the environment and recognize the hazardous conditions. In addition, dactyls can be used to dig in the substrate for installing cables, searching for buried objects, and collecting sediment samples. When objects are found, the robot legs can be used to securely grasp the target, which can then be retrieved and collected from the surface. While some of our robots have as many as 18 degrees of freedom, walking and grasping objects can be achieved with only 4 independent degrees of freedom. We develop a climb mechanism robot for this task, which can climb onto an object and then grasp it. Human interface will improve our ability to precisely control the robots. Specifying leg placement for the hexpower robot by using finger motions it's efficient to adapt gait to avoid obstacles. Our work enables new applications for robots in floods, tides, and the environments where current robots cannot operate. In particular, the US government has identified munition retrieval as an environmental priority through their Strategic Environmental Research Development Program. Our goal is to support these efforts with new robots.